flour, a simple white powder that holds the world together, or at least our baked goods. It's the backbone of bread, the base of cakes, and the secret to perfect pasta. But have you ever stopped to wonder how it's made? How do golden fields of wheat transform into the fine, silky substance that sits on your kitchen shelf? This journey is one of scale, precision, and some truly fascinating machinery. So buckle up as we uncover the incredible process of how flour is made in factories, from farm to table. Let's start at the very beginning, the wheat fields. Wheat is grown on a staggering scale across the globe. In fact, over 783 million metric tons of wheat were produced worldwide in the year 2023, making it one of the most important crops on Earth. The top producers are China, India, Russia, and the United States, with these countries accounting for nearly half of the global supply. The United States alone produces over 48 million tons annually, much of which ends up as flour. Wheat farming is a delicate science. Farmers carefully select from dozens of wheat varieties based on their end use. Hard wheat, like hard red winter or durum, is high in protein, making it ideal for bread and pasta. Softer varieties, such as soft red winter wheat, have lower protein levels and are perfect for cakes and biscuits. Planting is done with precision machinery, often equipped with GPS technology, ensuring the seeds are spaced evenly for optimal growth. The crops need just the right conditions to thrive, cool winters, warm summers, and regular rainfall. However, nature can be unpredictable, so farmers rely on pesticides and fungicides to ward off pests and diseases. Advanced irrigation systems are used in regions where rainfall is scarce, ensuring the plants receive adequate water. By the time the wheat is ready for harvest, the fields are a sea of golden spikes swaying in the wind, a sight both beautiful and productive. When the wheat ripens, usually in late summer or early autumn, it's time for harvest. Enter the Combine Harvester, a machine that's a true marvel of engineering. These massive machines perform three tasks in one pass. Reaping the wheat, threshing it to separate the grains from the stalks, and winnowing to remove the chaff. It's an efficient process that ensures every grain is collected. Once harvested, the wheat is loaded into trucks and transported to storage silos. Here's where things get serious. Wheat can't just be thrown into a silo and left to its own devices. The quality of the grain depends on proper storage conditions. Silos are temperature and humidity controlled, maintaining an ideal environment of 10 to 15 degrees Celsius and no more than 65% humidity. Excess moisture can lead to mold, while pests are kept at bay with regular fumigation. Properly stored wheat can remain in good condition for months, ready to be milled into flour. But what's the value of all this hard work? On the global market, wheat is worth between $200 and $250 per ton, depending on quality and demand. For many farmers, their livelihood depends on achieving high yields and premium prices. Once the wheat is transported to a flour mill, it undergoes a series of meticulous processes to transform it into flour. The first step is cleaning. The wheat is passed through sieves, magnets, and air currents to remove stones, dust, and other impurities. This step is crucial because even the tiniest contaminant can affect the quality of the final product. Next comes conditioning. This involves adding just the right amount of water to the wheat and allowing it to rest for up to 24 hours. The goal is to toughen the outer bran while softening the inner endosperm, making it easier to separate during grinding. And now, for the star of the show, 
the roller mills. These powerful machines are the heart of any flower factory. Roller mills consist of pairs of steel rollers rotating at different speeds. As the wheat passes through, the rollers crush and separate it. The process begins with breaking the grain open to separate the bran and germ from the endosperm. Each subsequent stage involves refining the endosperm into finer and finer particles until it becomes flour. Modern roller mills are incredibly efficient. A single mill can process up to 150 tons of wheat per day, producing different types of flour for various uses. All-purpose flour, for instance, is made by blending hard and soft wheat, while bread flour comes from hard wheat alone. Cake flour, with its fine texture, is made from soft wheat, while whole wheat flour includes all parts of the grain, the bran, germ, and endosperm. Flour factories don't just stop at producing basic flour. Specialized flours, such as semolina for pasta or self-raising flour for baking, involve additional processing or added ingredients. Each type of flour is carefully tested for quality, ensuring it meets strict standards for protein content, moisture level, and consistency. Once the flour is ready, it's packaged into bags ranging from small 1-kilogram packs for home bakers to massive 25-kilogram sacks for commercial use. Some factories can produce thousands of bags per hour, which are then distributed to supermarkets and bakeries worldwide. Major flour producers like General Mills, Ardent Mills, and Conagra dominate the industry, supplying flour to household names like Tesco, Sainsbury's, and Walmart. Flour may seem simple, but its production is a testament to human ingenuity. From the precision farming of wheat to the advanced engineering of roller mills, every step is designed to maximize efficiency and quality. The next time you enjoy a slice of bread or a bowl of pasta, take a moment to appreciate the incredible journey that brought it to your plate. Flour truly is the unsung hero of the kitchen, and its story is as rich and layered as the dishes it helps create.